Good morning, Hot Tots, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I have to film the Timu haul and try stuff on and everything, and so I like to at least have some makeup on so you get the full effect, you know? So I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram, and I think I got some also on YouTube. I'm doing like a chit chat Q&A, get ready with me. So let's find those. I took screenshots of a bunch of them because it's sometimes really hard to find all this crap. First and foremost, let's talk about uh, New York. So you guys have probably been so sick of seeing New York things, but honestly, you guys, I had so much fun in New York. I, If you don't know, I went to New York to... Um, visit my friend Catherine. I've, she's like my childhood best friend. I've known her. I, she was one of the first people. She was the first person I met in Ohio or in Pickerington when I moved from Lancaster to Pickerington when I was little in second grade. So she was my neighbor. She lived behind me. Um, and I met her the first day we were like going to the bus stop and she was the first person I ever met in Pickerington. And so we became fast friends. Um, she moves around a lot. She is really good at her job and she's killing it, but she lived, you can basically live anywhere pretty much with her job because she used to work almost full time from home or she did work full time from home um, until very recently. So now because she's by her New York office, she goes in a couple times a week. But, um, yeah, so she has lived in tons of different places. So I just always visit wherever she lives to like see the place and see the town and, you know, whatever. And it's just fun because you're with like your best friend, you know, and she lives there. So then she can explore different places and have someone to go with. And then I can explore different places and have somewhere to stay. And we always have so much fun together. So we went uh, she just moved to New York from Colorado and we went and just like explored the city. And when I say explored the city, this girl had me literally seeing everything. We walked 26 miles in two and a half days, less than two and a half days. And then we also did a soul cycle class, which I miss spin class so much, you guys. But I think I need to sell my Peloton because I don't think I can ever do it as much as I used to just because of my pelvic floor stuff and everything, but who knows? Maybe I could. Um, anywho, so we went all over the place. So on Friday, when I got there though, we had to circle around and around and around in the plane because it was the monsoon, basically the leftovers from the hurricane were coming through New York and everything was flooded. They closed the subways down that's how flooded it was. They closed the freaking subways, you guys. And Catherine was like, what the heck? Like that, that's literally only happened, I think, one other time when another hurricane was coming through or whatever. Um, so the subways got flooded. They closed them all. So we had nowhere. We couldn't take subways. So she didn't want us to not explore. <laughs> She's so funny. She wanted us to not explore. So we ended up just walking. She wore a raincoat. She's crazy. She wore a raincoat and I had an umbrella and we literally just walked 11 miles on Friday. We walked 11 miles, you guys, when it was pouring rain outside. We walked um, to our brunch spot and then we walked almost all the way back home. Um, but we took an Uber the rest of the way. And then for dinner, we went back out, we walked to dinner, and then we took an Uber home, but we were walking like far distances. We also kind of dilly-dallied around and saw the Oculus building, which was cool. We saw the Twin Tower Memorial, the 9-11 Memorial, which honestly shook me because I know that that was a while ago now, but it's like when you go there and you just see like I don't know. I remember being in school and hearing and seeing that this was happening and I wasn't comprehending and it was like so sad and my teachers were crying and I don't know. And to see how big those buildings were and to like actually look at the space that they took up and know 
what happened. It was crazy. So we saw those. Um, and then we walked, went back, went out to eat. I did a bunch of reels of this. So go check out my Instagram reels. It was so fun. We ate so much good food, but we walked and worked out a lot, you know? So had the best time. And then Saturday came, we went to uh, Soul Cycle on Saturday. We then went and got coffee and a croissant. This croissant, or was it a croissant? I don't know. So flaky, so delicious. I mean, hands down the best. It was called, it was from Devotion, I think it's called. Sorry, I need to put a little like a uh, lip gloss on because my lips are like cracking right now. Um, holy smokes, you guys, it was so freaking good. I loved it. So we did that and then we had brunch later in the day, um, walked around everywhere in West, what is it? West Village. And Westville is really, really, really cute. It reminds me a lot of like the short north of Columbus. So anyways, we walked around, then had dinner. You know, same thing. Uh, we tried to get into the Michael Jackson show, which the, he was having, like it, they were having like a Broadway Michael Jackson show, Broadway show. Um, we didn't get into it, which is the bummer. And then she got a ping that we got into Carbone at 11 15 p.m which if you aren't from new york or you don't know like carbone's like really hard to get into it's really hard to get a reservation there and she literally put herself on a list to like ping her if people canceled their um reservations and so we went and ate dinner at 11 15 at night so it was super fun uh that was the latest we stayed up we didn't get home till like 1 a.m we were so freaking tired but Anywho, best time ever. So nice. I'm definitely going back. I loved New York and I did not know that I would love New York so much, but I really, really freaking did. Oh, I didn't put, um, concealer on, but it's okay. I don't really need it. Um, but I loved it and people would always say to me like, oh, New Yorkers are so mean. New Yorkers are this, they keep to themselves with a lot like yeah, I mean, I feel like in every city people keep to themselves. They're not like, hey, but anyone I smiled at smiled back at me. Anyone I like looked and was like, your dog's so cute, said something to me. Everyone was very kind to me. So to me, I was like, I mean, if you smile at someone, they smile back, at least from my experience. Like, they're kind to me. Like, if you're kind to them, they're kind to you. So I don't know. I just didn't see it and I didn't think it was like as stinky and gross as people said like mind you it did rain so I'm sure it like cleared a lot of stuff up but I don't know I thought it was really nice like there was always people out and about it wasn't like super congested where we were where she lives in like the Manhattan area it wasn't like super super congested it was more congested you know obviously on Fifth Ave like where everybody you know tourists and everybody wants to go and like shop and stuff but I I love New York and I love that you can do public transportation and just go down to a subway and get where you want to go. I think that's amazing. I hope Columbus does that. But anyways, that's that. Now let's get to the questions. Why does Ollie have two litter boxes? Um, because he's high maintenance. And I heard that even one cat should have two litter boxes, but he's high maintenance and will not go to the bathroom in a litter box that already has, that he already has gone to the bathroom in. I clean his litter box twice a day. That's why people check on him too when I'm gone even for two days because he needs his litter box cleaned out. Where's your cute sweater from? It's beige and it has a skull hand and iced coffee. Oh, so those, I, I tagged those in a previous video. I'll try to find it and I'll try to link it down below. It's like this Instagram ad I found and they have some cute stuff. I really like it. I would love the story of how you met Tyler. Love you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I met Tyler and I know, I think I've told this before, but I'll tell it again. I've met, I met Tyler on the hinge. I was drinking when I uh, swiped right or whatever. I don't even know what it is on hinge. I forget. Um, and we talked for like literally five seconds. Like we got messaged back and forth because I was on a party bus for my friend's birthday party. And I didn't really want to be talking to anyone. I was just like, we were all just like laughing, like swiping on my app as like almost like a joke. I don't know. And he was just like, hey, we like chit chatted. And then he was like, do you just want to go to brunch tomorrow? And I was like, perfect. So I actually had him go to brunch at the apartment complex restaurant that I 
lived in at the time because I knew I would be hungover because I was like gonna be out until like 1 a.m. for a birthday. And this was a year and a month ago now. Yeah, because what time? A year and two months almost. Um, but so I <laughs> literally just like, oh yeah, you can meet me at this place. He's like, oh cool, yeah. Like I hear that that's a great place. I'm like, yeah. Honestly, I just wanted to walk there because I just knew I would be hungover. So then he met me out for brunch. Honestly, it wasn't like for love at first sight type of thing. It was like, I was so hungover. I didn't even want to have a mimosa or anything. He was like, oh, should we get mimosas? And I was like, no. And he's like, oh, okay. I truly don't know why he wanted to hang out with me again. I remember thinking like, oh, he's cute. This is why I always said, like, and I always did give people, like went on a couple dates with people as long as they wanted to go on a couple dates with me because it's not like a, oh, all of a sudden you're in love. And like, yeah, sometimes you hit it off like straight out the gate. And sometimes you're like, oh, he was nice, you know? And then depending on your mood or what was going on, like you could completely change how you feel the next time. As long as they were nice to you. I say always give people a second date, you know? So he is horrible at texting. I didn't hear from him for like two days. So I was like, okay, he goes to me, whatever. And then he texted me, was like, hey, or called me. I'm sorry, he's a call person. He called me, he's like, hi, would, can I take you out on Wednesday? Which was the next day. He's like, can I take you out tomorrow? We can go bowling. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. So we met at a bowling alley. And that second date is when I was like, oh, he's cute. I like him because I feel like mentally I just wasn't there on our first date. And since then, he hung out with me. Like, he would call me. He still wouldn't text me ever. So I always thought he was ghosting me every day. Every day, I thought he was ghosting me. I was like, oh, okay. After every date, I was like, oh, he's gone. Whatever. Okay, bye. Like, I feel like I was in the best mental state for him at that time. Because he was like, I love that you weren't clingy and, like, freaky and, like, blowing me up. I'm like, dude, I thought you were ghosting me every time. But I'm like, I'm stubborn. And I'm also one of those people, like, if he wanted to, he would. And so I was like, I'm not freaking calling him. He can call me. And so he did. And he'd call me like every two days and be like, hey, do you want to hang out today or tomorrow? So anyways, then we just started hanging out. We hung out like four or five times a week out the gate, which blew me away. I was honestly like kind of like, this is crazy um, because I'd never had that happen to me before. And I was a little overwhelmed at first, but I still always wanted to hang out with him and I remember being like, why am I hanging out so much with him? Like, I need to ease into this. But we ended up hanging out four or five times a week. Haven't stopped since. So, and yeah. So, now we're best friends. We love each other. And he's my favorite. Everything's going really, really well. My whole family loves him so much. I love him so much. I love his family so much. Like, it's just all working out really, really nicely. So, anyways, that's that. Are you seeing more results with a bit lower calories and more protein? Honestly, you guys, I was being super consistent um, before I went on my Indiana trip and then I went on New York trip and my weight was only going down by like one pound, then going back up, then down, then up. And so I was like, what the heck? And then when I went to Indiana and I over ate, like ate a lot, it like revved my body back up. So then I lost like two pounds coming home from Indiana when I had eaten so poorly. Hello, I hear all of them. So, um, and sorry, yeah, I spend a lot of time on my eye eyelashes. Okay, don't be annoyed with me, okay? I was like, what the heck? Um, and I was pumped because I was like, cool, maybe I just needed a little like rev. Well, then I went to New York, we walked so much but we didn't eat a ton. We had two meals a day. Like it wasn't like we were eating a ton and we were walking a lot. Um, came up from New York though, weighed myself. I was down like even more weight. And then Monday, so I got home on like Sunday. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I just like was binge eating. And I just was like going nuts. And I was like eating, eating, eating. And I gained like four pounds back. Whether those will stay on, I don't know. But now we're kind of resetting. And what I've been doing that's been helping me lately also is I'm upping my calories to like, of course, like I want to do like 1800 calories a day, basically with the amount I work out and walk and whatever. That's like my deficit. I'm trying to do lower as I've always done during the week. 
but now I'm also trying to fast until like 2 or 3 p.m., have a lunch, like a little lunch, and then have dinner and a dessert because fasting always really helped me and to help me not think so much about food all day long and like, I don't know, so I'm kind of doing fasting again, but it was my calorie deficit wasn't working as well as I had hoped. And I think it's because also I was working out so much. So my body is like, I don't know. I think my body's kind of figuring itself out. And I, I'm not going to lie. I've been getting really discouraged. Um, and I've been like, but I'm trying to stay consistent and just stick with it. And so because my body reacted really well to a lot more calories, I was like, okay, well, what I'll do is just still do lower during the weekdays, but I'm just going to try to do some fasting so that it's just easier for me. I don't know, guys. I don't know the answers, you know, but we're figuring it out as we always are. And thanks for always being along for the ride. What are your thoughts on intuitive eating? I think that intuitive eating is great if you have control over yourself, you know? If you can like literally listen to your hunger cues, like that's the goal, right? Like I want to be able to intuitively eat and feel like I'm listening to my hunger cues. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I think the problem lies in, you know, not like you stop listening to your cues and then you're overeating and you're not as aware of it because you're just kind of like pretending that you're not. You know, like telling yourself that you're not and yada yada. So I think intuitive eating is great and I want to become an intuitive eater. And sometimes I think to myself like, I wouldn't focus so much on weight loss if I just stopped tracking. Like I would just try to focus on, just try to eat until you're satiated and then da 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 da. But it, when you have certain personality types, intuitive eating is just not gonna help you lose weight. But I think some personality types, it can work, you know? How do you get up at five? I struggle with your morning routine. I struggle and your morning routine is goals. I don't get up at five. I get up at like, well, I get up at like 5.45. Um, luckily I work from home. So again, like I'm lucky in that way. But um, it just takes, honestly, you can't think. And then it just becomes routine. So like you're just used to it. And so you just like get up. Because whenever I take too long laying in bed and thinking about it, that's when I don't get up. So now what I do is like, I just go, don't like I, my alarm goes off and I go, don't think, get up. Don't think, get up. And I get up and then I'm like, okay, I'm already up. So like might as well. And I just put my workout outfit on. And then once my workout outfit's on, I'm like, okay, I might as well go. I'm already in my workout outfit. You know, are you a religious person, a follower of Jesus, etc.? I believe in God. Um, I am religious in my own way, like spiritual, like I pray and everything like that. I wouldn't say I go to church every Sunday, uh, any of that stuff, but I do believe in God. I was uh, raised Catholic. I wouldn't say I would agree with all the things that Catholicism t teaches you, but I still love going to Catholic church because it's like what I know and what I feel comfortable with. I do believe in God and I love God and I pray to my like God and then I pray to your cousins and I pray to my grandma and grandpa like you know and I do believe that there's something greater out there. So, were you and your sister close growing up? How much do you love being an auntie? So um, my sister Mandy the one that we look just alike and everyone was like you guys are twins. Uh, growing up we fought a lot <laughs> Mandy would, would say too like we fought a ton and it was mostly about like borrowing clothes and like chores and stuff like that but I would say we've always been like maybe not like chummy clothes like lovey-dovey clothes but we've always like loved each other and like invited each other to stuff like Mandy would always invite me to like if she not not to like parties and stuff when we were like young, but like she would never care if I like tagged along to places if I wanted to go, you know, and she didn't care if like I went to her basketball games or like if her friends talked to me and you know, it, so we weren't as close when we were little, I would say just because of like the little stuff that you fight about when you're young, but we were we are super close now. I love being an aunt. Like I love being an aunt and I love my nieces and nephews like so freaking much. It's sick.
it's sick how much I love them and how much I just want to squeeze them and how they feel like they're mine. Like, I don't know. It's like, because it's your, I don't know. It's because like, it's, it's your sister's kids and like you and your sister are so much like so similar in so many ways. And then just like, you know, have been grown up together and stuff and then they have kids. You just feel like they're your kids too. I don't know. But yeah, I love, I love being an aunt. It's like my favorite thing ever in the world. How are you liking the new place compared to your last apartment? I love this place. Um, the water situation, yeah, was annoying and it still is. I love living here. I would say I didn't know that there was also community charges. They didn't tell me that when I moved in. I asked that because I've had an apartment like that before. Um, so they charge me, I pay like $25 a month towards the community's charges of like the um, AC and the lights being on at night and stuff. And it makes me literally, when I come home and I see that the lights are all on in this building, I just want to turn them all off. <laughs> so that's annoying, but I do love it here. And whenever I move out of here, I will miss it. Like I do love my setup here and everything. I don't know what you did, but your lips look amazing. If it's the plumping lip gloss, do tell. So two things. One, I don't tell you guys everything. I love you guys, but you know, I have my own life and I don't want to share every single thing on here. I don't care for opinions on a lot of things. I always have always been this way. I do me. I do what I want to do. I don't really need other people's opinions about it. And so unless I truly am conflicted, I don't even ask because I just want to do it myself. I have always had, and I'll put a picture up here. I've always had very small lips and I did get filler. They did a very natural job. Um, you guys missed it because I did have like bruising and stuff. I'll, I'll just keep putting pictures up here as I talk. I did have bruising and stuff when I first happened. You do blow up like a balloon the day uh, after. And I was like, what did I do? This is a mistake. I was like calling my sister every two seconds. Um, but I did get lip filler and I had them do it in a really natural way. I didn't want, you know, I was like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do it again. I don't know if it's like something that's long lasting. I will say I do love them, but I love them more when I have makeup on. Um, because one, when I first got them, I was like, because I've never had lips. So it was weird to see lips on my actual face and them to be a part of my face, you know, and a part of my makeup, like, it's weird to have an actual upper lip. It's bizarre. Um, but two, um, it, like I never had this before, these little lines, because I never had any lip amount up here. And when, and then also like when you first get them done, especially like this, they've calmed down a lot. You kind of get this little white line almost. This is also my highlighter now and my lip gloss because it's like, plumped them up, you know? So when I don't have makeup on, like when I have makeup on, I feel like I always kind of like put the lip gloss on and stuff and you can't notice as much that they're higher up here. Um, but when I don't have makeup on, I feel like you can notice more. So that's when all of you guys noticed when I was talking on stories and I have no makeup on in the morning and I look like crap and you guys were like, what's going on? Like I had like a hundred of you reach out to me and I told people or I just would be like, oh, whatever. Um, but yeah, I did get some lip filler. I like it. I don't need your opinions on it unless they're positive. Like if you don't like it, if you hate lip filler, if you this and that, I don't care. That's cool, girl. You do you. But I wanted to try it just once because I've always had tiny ass lips. And I just wanted to see, do I like it? Do I want it? And I like it. Would I do it again? I don't know. Maybe. Like, I feel like I would just want like a little touch up. Like, I don't know. So they only stay for like six to eight months, I was told. So... Yeah, I really like them. They're very natural. I don't ever want them to be overstuffed. Like, I don't like that look as much. I like it on other people. Like, other people can do them. I love juicy lips, but on me, I just like it natural. Not a question, but you and Tyler are so cute. I hear wedding bells. <laughs> well, have you done anything to your lips? Yeah. Any fun trips planned? The only last trip I have planned is in February so far. In February, I'm going to California to see my friend Lauren, which will be so fun. Would you ever do a meet and greet? Love your videos and you seem like such a nice person. Yes, I wanted to do one in 2020 and then all of 2020 happened and then the last couple years, you know, I've been kind of like 
residual effects of 2020. And so I never wanted to host something and then someone gets sick and then it'd be like, oh, it's Sophie's meetup. We got sick, you know? So I definitely would do a meetup. I think it'd be really fun. I think I would do my first one, obviously, in Columbus. And then from there, we could do others. I've always thought about it, but I'm like, I don't know how far in advance I know when I'm going places. I don't know how to like see if people would even come, like where should I do them at type of thing, but I would love to do that. Lip filler experience paid on a scale of one to 10. How did you not have any bruising? I did have a little bruising as you saw in those pictures, um, but not much. And honestly, I just got like the numbing cream and people say that it hurts so bad and I didn't think so, but I have been told from laser hair removal that I have a really good high pain tolerance because I don't like, I was like, oh, this isn't bad. It's like, it feels like pinches. It's almost like if you're popping a pimple on your lip, that pinchy feeling and you're like, ow, but it's not anything I'm like crying about. I'm not jumping out of my seat, you know, um, but you can do a full dental block if you want. Um, but I just do the, did the cream and it was fine. And I thought it was like pain of like a four. Also, I do use Plumper Gloss though by Makeup by Mario. This is the Rose Glow. They have this plumper lip gloss that tingles your lips and I freaking love it. So if you don't wanna get lip filler, this plumper did make my other lips, my normal lips look bigger too, just from using this plumper. So that's what I used to use before I did this. Let's see what you put on insert YouTube. Oh, here's one. What's your favorite thing about Tyler? Oh, Tyler. Um, my favorite thing about Tyler is that he, he like take, he takes care of me. He, he brings out like my feminine energy, you know, if that makes sense. Because when you've been single for so long, you just do everything yourself and he really just does things for me. He's such an acts of service guy. Like he does things for me. He drives me everywhere. Um, you know, and so I'm able to just like be more girly and be more feminine and not be so like, I need to get everything done and I need to be masculine. I need to take the reins and da da. It's like letting go and being in my feminine energy has been so freaking nice. And I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's, I just, I love that he just takes care of me. Like he feeds me, he drives me places. He, when we go do things, he always takes us, he drives us there. And he's, he's just so, he's also so sweet and loving and kind. And I feel like because I'm so like lovey dovey, I'm like so kissy kissy, squeezy squeezy, like touchy touchy, lovey dovey. Like that's just how I am. Like I'm not like way with my nieces. I'm not like, I just like love to squeeze people and kiss them on the cheeks and stuff. It's like, he now has become more like, lovey dovey too and yeah he always just thinks of me when he's doing things and he incorporates me in everything he does and it's just such a change from my past relationships and it's just been really nice Mr. sips of sophie where did the tv movie reviews and your bad dating stories used to tell go <laughs> so i had the sips of sophie channel i deleted all the videos off there or i just hid them all because i was going to just put them all over on this channel and then close that channel out because i just don't use it um those just took forever and honestly with my life and everything going on, it was just hard. I might just start incorporating those into here, like my book reviews, movie reviews and stuff like that as I have less and less content to share with you guys, you know? <laughs> or when I just don't feel like doing like a what I eat in a day and stuff. Tips for when your weight loss stalls. When do you typically see you start to hold weight due to your upcoming monthly session with Aunt Flo? Mine's the week before, I'm like a freaking balloon. The week before my period and Everything is just habit at this point. And so I think that that's where you need to be, where you need to f come to. And I always mess up too. Like I mess up. I have like bingey moments like I just did, blah, blah, blah. It's just like getting, always getting back on it. Like don't ever give up on yourself because your health and your well being is the most important thing. You know, it, you don't ever want to give up on like being healthy and being happy because you have so much more life to live. And it's not worth getting like, like, don't give up on yourself because that's all I'm doing is like, I'm here to like try to like better myself, better my body, better my brain, better my mind, better the way that I say things and do things, better my relationships, better, just better myself and be more aware. And I don't know. So I just, I just think of it as like a big thing of like, yeah, I do get frustrated. Like right now I feel frustrated that I'm not losing weight. I feel frustrated that I'm at a stall, 
but all I have to do is just push through because it always ends up working eventually, you know? And like, I also have to focus on, this is not just for weight loss, this is for my health. This is for my, you know, muscle mass that will help me when I'm older to not be as frail and to be able to do things, you know? This is, it's just, it's for so much more than just losing weight, you know? I'm at this place too where I'm transitioning almost from like a weight loss feeling and a weight loss channel to more of like a healthy lifestyle, healthy habits, healthy, mental state channel. Um, I do what I eat in a day is because I do love watching those and I do love seeing what people eat and I do love seeing the calories and stuff because I like to see like, oh, well, how much calories is she really eating kind of during the day and stuff. But I also do those as like, hey, look, I ate out today and it's not like a big freaking deal, you know? I don't know. Does Tyler ever come to your place? If so, do you cook? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't cook. I've never... So I cook a lot of like low calorie foods and stuff like that and like one person foods. I've never loved cooking and I've never loved being in the kitchen unless I'm just drinking wine and watching someone else and eating like cheese and grapes. <laughs> so Tyler does all the cooking. Um, I'm sure once we move in together, I would cook some nights or like I'll throw together stuff that I'm eating and be like, do you want this too? If you do, cool. If not, like make your own thing. Um, especially with like the casseroles I like to make that are really good that are lower calorie but they taste really good that type of stuff I'm sure he'd eat them but when I go over to his house he cooks for us like he he loves cooking and I mean like he finds so much joy in cooking and he'll buy so much extra food so that he can invite the neighbors over so that he can invite his parents over so that he can have his friends come over like he enjoys feeding people and so I'm cool with that. And I do go over to his house all the time. He comes over to my house sometimes, but mostly I go to his. Um, one, because he's outside all day long. He is like a project manager for like construction sites, like big construction sites and stuff. So he's always out of his house. He's always con like out and about and he's not home from like 530 in the morning until like six at night. And so when he wants to go home, he just wants to go home. And I'm cool with that because I'm home all day and I just want to get the heck out of my apartment. So, and then if there are nights that I don't want to come out, I don't want to go to his house. I'll be like, Hey, if you want to come here, come here. But if not, like, let's just hang out by ourselves. Cause I don't feel like driving to your house and he'll be like, okay, I'll just come over. I'll stop by or let's go grab dinner or blah, blah, blah. So he doesn't come over here at like nearly as much as I go over to his place, but also he owns his place. So that's also nice. Like, so it's just nice to be like can cook out and sit out on the patio and sit out in the garage and you know all this stuff and whereas my place like I sit I'm in this one little room we can't sit on a patio anywhere and I have a bunch of neighbors and you can hear everyone who's coming and walking down the hall you know so a book club and reviews would be fun I enjoy your other content you already do okay yeah that's a good idea let's do that do you ever issues with binging if so any tips at health yeah I do um, and when I'm not just saying for F it, like just let yourself have a little binge fest. I haven't done that in a long time and I just did it. I hadn't done it in probably over a year and I just did it. And I think it was because I was coming off of New York, going, going, going. And I was just like sitting in my house. I had the day off after I got back from New York. We had ran around so much in my stomach. I was so hungry. I just was so freaking hungry all the time and at my friend's house she didn't have any snacks or any food in her house so I could only eat when we were out so when I got home and I had all these snacks and all this food I went ham I ordered Mexican food and then I had like a dessert and then I had chips and then I had the, like I was just going 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 I just let myself have that night right and then the next day I was like okay like remember you have food accessible to you um but you know, I get in those modes too. And what I try to do, especially when, after I let myself, sometimes I let myself just go for it. After that, I just take, I eat like, so say I make the Felicia Keithley, Keithley casserole. I'll just make that casserole and I'll let myself eat as much of that casserole as I want until I'm satiated because that casserole is way less calories and way less amount of bad things than if I were to be like, okay, let me go to McDonald's. Cause if I go to McDonald's and binge, I can eat double cheeseburger, French fries, chicken nugs, a chicken sandwich, a frosty, another fry to dip in the frosty and a diet Coke. And the amount of calories that is, is way more than just eating two huge servings or three servings of the Felicia Keithley casserole. So I just try to make a low calorie, low point 
big meal and just let myself eat as much of it as I want. And then it ends up less calories and then I don't feel as much guilt. Do you ever want to have kids? Yes, I do. Can you share a picture of you as a kid? Here you are. <laughs> yeah, I want to have kids. I definitely want to have at least one. I'm 34 now. So like to me, the only thing is, it's like, I just don't want to put my body through a lot at a late age. It's harder on your body as you get older and it's harder on you as you get older and stuff. So I would love to have two kids. Um, at this rate though, it would need to happen pretty back to back. Oh my God, that content would be so funny. You guys would be like, Sophie's like bitching again. Sophie's tired again. Sophie's sloppy again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really want kids. Tyler does too. And we both would like to have two kids, but it would depend on like the timing of when everything goes down. Yeah, that's it for the questions today, you guys. I'm ready. I gotta do this Timu video. So you'll see me in the exact same thing. Probably. Um, I'm doing Timu like clothing and stuff and like some Halloween stuff. So it's really exciting. It'll be fun. I'm going to see if this stuff's good, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.